Is it safe now? Looks like the monsters are gone. I'm tired already, but I better get over it. Job well done, Mimi. We didn't do enough to say that. I might need your help again later. I better take all the items back to the workshop with me. <sighs> your legs are wobbling. Are you sure you can carry all that? Uh, I'm fine. It's right there. Uh-oh. Uh <laughs> Watch it! You're not fine! Just give me half. It's okay. I'd feel bad. You're going to give me a heart attack if you make me watch. Hand it over. Uh, okay. Oh, that was heavy. I might not have made it without your help. <sighs> it's nothing. You now see how much I've trained compared to you. You're really out of breath, but thank you. You don't need to thank me. I didn't do it for you. Welcome home, Tauturi. Oh, who's this? Pleased to meet you. My name is... I'm home, Tetsi. She's my friend, Mimi. Friend? What are you talking about? Did I say something weird? I... I... Uh, I'm not your friend or anything. We're co-workers. Rivals, to be more precise. I didn't know you had such an adorable friend. I'm sure tolturi has been constantly giving you trouble. No, not at all. Um... I know. You should join us for dinner. It'll be ready soon. No, I couldn't. You should. Zatsi's cooking is great. Come on. Hey! Stop pulling! Zatsi, I want to help. It's okay. You have a friend over, so just keep her company. But then Mimi will think I never help out around the house. You don't. Oh, don't say that out loud! Hmm. Mimi should visit every day. That way you'll always help. You're so mean. I'm sorry about my noisy daughters. When did you come in? I've been here the whole time. I'm sorry I startled you. It, it's all right. I should apologize for not noticing you. Don't worry. I'm used to it. Even my own kids never notice me. Uh, oh. They were raised by a useless father like me and no mother. They turned out all right if you ask me. I might just think that way because I'm their father, though. No, I think you're right. Thank you. I hope you'll get along with Totori. She has very few friends around her own age. The pleasure will be all mine. 
Mimi, we're done. Careful, it's hot. I hope you'll like it. She will. Anything you cook is awesome. This does look good. It's a lot more elaborate than usual, isn't it? Oh, Dad, you were there? Overstayed my welcome. I'll get going now. Are you really going? It's getting late, so why don't you sleep over? No, I'm leaving. If I stay any longer, I think I'll start getting jealous. Huh? What's that? Nothing. Well, I'll come back soon. That's great. See you later, Mimi. Where'd she go? I thought she'd always be here. Did she go somewhere else? And guess what happened next? A huge bear came out of nowhere! Really? Aren't you exaggerating again? It's true! I really wish you could have seen it! It got away from me, but imagine how much bear stew we could have made with it! Oh, there she is. Mel! Well, that's too bad for you. Hey, you don't believe me. I'll believe if you bring me back its hide. Fine! I'll get it next time, and I'll leave it on your doorstep. Yeah, yeah. Plan your prank after you actually get this giant bear. They look like they're having fun. I shouldn't interfere.
<sighs> I'm so tired. We didn't do anything to tire us out. I'm ready to tackle another adventure right now. Oh, I can't. I'm tired and I'm hungry. Hey, you want to eat dinner with us? At your place? Are you sure? Yeah. I don't stay home a lot, so Tsetsi's been mumbling about how it doesn't feel worthwhile to cook. Sure, I'll go. Your sister's cooking is awesome. It's settled then. I'll ask Tsetsi to make lots and lots of food. Oh, Totori. You always ask for this kind of stuff out of the blue. I'm sorry, but you look kind of happy. Well, of course. It always feels good to have someone that really likes my cooking. I'm hungry! Where's my food? Hey! I won't feed you anything if you have bad table manners. Sorry. I'll... be quiet now. Good boy. Just be patient. It'll only be a little longer. That was good! <laughs> it makes me happy when I see someone enjoy my cooking so much. You ate like a horse, Gino. That was like five times as much as me. I did? Ugh, it hurts to move. I think I ate too much. Just rest up a bit. Torture and I will clean up. Oh, I know. It's getting late, so how about sleeping over? Sleep over? I really can't. Why not? You slept over all the time just a few years ago. That's when we were just kids. Anyway, I'll get going now. But I thought it hurts to move. I'll be fine. Oh, ow. Come on. You have to rest. I said I'll be fine. Thank you for the dinner. I wonder what's up with Gino. Gino seems a bit more mature than our little Tolturi. What was that? Nothing at all. Anyway, come and help me clean up. Oh, tell me what you said. stuff. You saw how my dad is. You're better off than me. At least you have a sister. Huh? What was that? Nothing. So, what about you? Huh? What do you mean? You let your sister handle everything around the house, so what do you do? Well, alchemy and adventures. I figured as much. You have to help around the house more. Uh, I do help. Sometimes. Besides, why are you lecturing me? This isn't a lecture. It's an order. Help out more. You understand? Uh, I'm busy with my stuff. Besides, 
understand. Yes. Good. If I stay too long, I'll be a bother to your sister. So I'll excuse myself. Sorry for making you wait. Hey, where's Mimi? She had to go out somewhere. Setsy, I want to make dinner tonight. Huh? What's this all of a sudden? Please let me do it. She's going to make me regret it later if I don't. Huh?
You want to rank up? You sure you have the points? Let's see. Please? Okay, you made it. This is your first time ranking up. Congrats! Yay! Thanks so much. You did this quicker than I thought. I had my doubts about you being an adventurer, but you seem fine. I guess it's expected of Rorona's pupil. <laughs> Thanks. You've still got a long journey ahead. Keep it up, and don't slack off. Yes, ma'am. Well, that's it for the formalities. What are you going to do now? I'm not sure. I might do some shopping or go out and explore a little before going back to my village. Now that I think about it, it sounds tough having to come all the way here only to update your license. Why don't you just move to our land? It'll be a lot easier on you. I don't have that kind of money. Besides, I couldn't do my work as an adventurer without my workshop. I guess. Verona was mostly useless without her alchemy, too. Without it, she's weak, helpless, stupid, and... I, I think that's a bit harsh. Oh, right! You have Verona's workshop! Why don't you just use that? Huh? Teacher's workshop? Yeah! You can stay for free, and you can use it to synthesize. You can kill two birds with one stone. But won't she get mad if I use it without her permission? I'm giving you permission. Besides, do you really think she'd get mad at you? Why are you doing so much to help me? Don't misunderstand. I figured if you work here, Verona might come back more often. But I can't possibly admit that. Huh? I didn't quite hear what you said at the end. It's nothing. Well, that's settled. Get to the workshop and stop slacking off. All right. Is this really going to be okay? Get out 
here. a girl. Hi, I'm Billy. Nice to meet you. I'm Totri. Nice to meet you, too. Don't give me any more trouble. Now off you go. Huh? I have to give the briefing? I can't! your job! Do it! I wonder if she'll be all right. Kiddo Adventurer! Did you get your license? Yes! That's great! I've heard the news! Kiddo, you're Kiddo Student! Now why you gotta be such a stranger? You could have told me! What? Kiddo's... Kiddo? Kiddo, you know, that Kiddo! What's her name? Uh, Ro-something. You mean Rorona? Yeah, that kiddo. I heard it all from the tiny kiddo. Tiny kiddo? I'm getting so confused it's making me dizzy. It looks like kiddo student is at my store now. I'd better start on that job again. That job? We'll talk about it later. It takes time to prepare, anyway. This is a regular store until then. someone wearing that. Um, I, I don't wear this because I want to. Teacher told me to wear it. Oh yeah, I heard you're Rorona student. Yes, that's true. Do you know teacher? Of course I do. How wouldn't I? Can't you see how close my store is to her workshop? Oh, right. Now that you mention it. We're childhood friends and we're inseparable like that. But to me, she's more like a rival. You're that amazing? I'm 
so sorry. I was so rude to you. Hold on. When I'm in Rival, it's limited to cooking food. Besides, Verona's not that amazing. What? She's not? I thought she was supposed to be this really amazing alchemist. What are you getting depressed about? I made a mistake. I knew her from when we were kids, that's why I said that. The country sees her as someone really great. I, I knew it! She's a great person after all! She's kind of a pain in the ass. What was that? Nothing. So what were we talking about? Well, anyway. If you see Rorona, tell her to visit. Knowing her, I'm sure she found some interesting ingredients. Sure! I'll definitely tell her. Tiffany looks beautiful as always. I hate myself for being unable to speak with her. No, don't give up. We can at least chat with her when we're buying something. But my wallet's running empty. I need something cheap to buy. Those people are always here. Yes, they're my regulars. I'm very thankful for them. You really are popular with men. You're pretty and really kind. You're older than me, but you look kind of adorable too. You're flattering me. I I'm sorry. I was just thinking out loud. <laughs> I don't know about being popular. My husband would be jealous if he thought I was. Oh. Wait, you're married? Yes, I am. Or should I say I was? Didn't I tell you? This is the first time I've heard. But you said was? I'm so sorry, I didn't know. It's all right, it happened long ago. I'd prefer you joke about it with me. I I can't do that. Excuse me. I'd like to buy this. I I want to buy this. Oh no! I need to get back to work. I'm sorry we had to cut our chat short. N not at all. Good luck with your store. I didn't notice at all. I had no idea about that. I hope she's not upset. 